We are going to kill two birds with one stone today. We need to get full diamond gear and find some more 1.17 blocks. So welcome to Minecraft School. My name is JD and I'll be your teacher today. Our objectives are number one, find and mine 1.17 blocks, including deep slate, tough, calcite, smooth basalt, and amethyst. That is if we can find them all. Number two, get full diamond armor. And number three, link up the new mining area to the nether hub. Before we go anywhere, I just want to get some obsidian so we can make the nether portals, but the, the nether portals will come later. And now on to our new mining area. It's not too far away. We made it over here fairly quickly, just uh, straight through the forest right there. Uh, I'm going to be grabbing a tree because I want to make a chest just so I can store things. And I think I have the perfect area to start the mine. Now this is going to be right by where we have that tree there. There's a big depression there, and that looks like a great spot for something like, you know, a rock quarry. It'd be interesting to design something there. If we have time, I might actually do that. But we need to get this chest ready and get mining. Before we get digging down there, it's time for our comment of the video. And this is from Psychotic Butcher. For the stone bridge lanterns, put a wall two blocks tall on top of the granite with a fence sticking out the side facing the lower part of the arch. Now that is a good uh, design idea. I have done something like that before. Uh, I just wanted to be a little simpler with this design this time, but uh, every time I build a bridge, I tend to do something completely different. So all of my bridges are unique. And actually bridges are one of my favorite things to build. So. There you go. So let's get started. This spot seems like a really good place to start. And we're just going to dig in and dig down. So we're just going to do the standard stairs type of uh, mining, mine shaft, I guess you call it. It's not really a shaft, it's just stairs going down. So we're going to go all the way down to Y11. And we want to make sure we are keeping our torch in our offhand so we can light our way up. I'll bring you back when we find something interesting. Of course, whenever you find some ores, take it. I've got fortune on this pickaxe, so we're gonna get quite a bit of raw iron, which is gonna be nice. Definitely need a lot of iron for a lot of the things we're building with, like lanterns. But let's keep going. We've made it to Y11, so I'm stopping here because this is the lava level. If we go any deeper, we're going to have trouble sometimes with uh, lava pools. Now, you can already hear lava. I'm just going to make this room here for me, just as a, a little bit of a station. And with lava, that makes me wonder what we're going to find. So, we're going to do a standard branch mine. Now, I've done branch mines before. I'd like to go straight for a while and see what we can find. Uh, I'd like to also raise the ceiling in here. But one thing I want to do is go deeper. Right now we are looking for diamonds. Now I should mention that diamonds can also be found lower than this. Uh, there has been word that people have been finding diamonds very, very easily at deeper levels. And, oh, there's a creeper. Let's um, grab some cobblestone and block this off for a second. Because I really don't want to deal with him uh, blowing us up while I'm talking. Uh, so, there has been word that down around Y equals 5, there are more diamonds. But... But it's more dangerous because of lava. But I'm going to explore and see if I can find some diamonds. And I just killed the creeper. But let's look around here. We've got some things to light up. There is... Where'd he go? There's a zombie in here somewhere. So let's uh, grab this. Light some stuff up here so we don't get anything coming. Oh, we got some stuff over there. And hello. Let's get you, huh? All right. Just make sure this is all clear and grab as many 
ores as we can in here. And there is something I noticed back in this chamber. Way over here. This is, this is andesite here. Okay. I was thinking that was tough, but it's just andesite. All right, I don't see anything over there, but we'll check that in a moment. But right down here, you can see it right there. That is deep slate, and that is one thing that we want, and that's why we need to dig deeper, but unfortunately, uh, we have this in the way. But I'm going to gather all the ores here. All right, I'm just going to go around this. I'm going to gather some of this deep slate as well. So this is a bit that comes up, which is quite nice. The deep slate is amazing. It has so many different textures that you can make. My favorite is deep slate tile, which is absolutely wonderful for roofs. So I am very interested in using this for the roofs of the many of the buildings in the village. Here's one of the deep slate ores. This is coal. Now you can find many different ores in deep slate, including coal and, oh, there's gold too. What I would love to find is diamond though. And one of the reasons we're looking for diamond is so that we can head to the end and battle the dragon. Sometimes you'll have to deal with uh, little things like this, like this guy. There we go. I really did not want to deal with him. Okay, so, oops, doesn't work. Get more caves. More caves is often good, but no, not you. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> that was terrible. Oh, that was awful. Okay. Combat is one of my least favorite things. So, <laughs> I'm more of a builder. But you, you have to deal with these things if you're going to be going and caving and exploring. And geez, there's so many of them up here. Okay, I think the way things are, we can avoid that cave and just continue on going straight like we were doing and just mining. So I appear to have found the other side of that cave right through here. And we've got a bunch of green guys. These guys are going down. So are you. Definitely going down. Come on. Gotcha. Hopefully that's all. See? No, that's not it. Wow, there are a lot of these guys in here. This is one crazy cave. Okay, let's light this thing up so we don't have to deal with any more of them. Hopefully. This is... Oh, wonderful. Bye-bye. Always bring a bow with you in the caves. Really, they will save you so much trouble. Especially if you're not good at combat in the game. So let's light all this up, make sure that we've got nothing coming in. And we don't really want to go up, because... That is not where we're going to find the diamonds, but but we could be lucky and find another type of stone, like tough, or we might even find a geode. So I am going to be checking, and we got ah, copper. All right. Uh, we haven't found anything else interesting, so I'll just gather all these ores. And we have found a ravine. Oh my. Ravines are much easier to find things like uh, geodes in. This is nice. Maybe. Maybe it's nice. Just don't want anything dropping down. If I can see a geode, that would be amazing. But we've got lots of mobs around here. And this ravine is a little bit too high, though, for things like... Uh, diamonds. So I'm I'm actually going to pass by that because we're not looking for just a ravine. We're looking for diamonds. We have found a spawner. Oh, this is incredible. It's a spider spawner. And guess what? We've got another topic for a tutorial. Excellent. I love this. 
Finding a spawner is an amazing thing because you can use them to get a lot of XP. So let's just deactivate this by just surrounding it with a bunch of lights and check out this. We have, I got some pumpkin seeds. I want the gunpowder. I want, well, redstone is okay. Golden apple is great. Those are great things to have. What else? We have cat music disc. 13 music discs. Amazing. Bones will be very useful. Uh, the other stuff I'm not too concerned about, but this is very lucky. I'm so happy to find that. Uh, I'm just going to light this up to make sure we don't have any visitors coming our way. And we don't. All right, perfect. So we need to make sure that we know exactly where this is. And there's an axolotl in there. Should light this up too. But oh, oh, I like that color. But I don't have. I okay. Hello. I don't have the uh, the iron for it right now. Those guys won't be able to get in here anyway, so that's fine. I'm gonna gather all of the uh, the ores, and we're gonna head on out of here. Uh, I'll have to figure out where we're going. Sometimes you don't light things up well enough. We have a creeper right there. Goodbye. Oh, gee. Go away. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, that was close. Um, I did spot him over here somewhere. I'm not sure where he came from. Aha. Uh -huh. Right in here. That's where they came from. Woo. Light this up. Definitely need to light this up. And uh, you can't place torches if they're in your offhand while you're holding your bow. That doesn't work. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to keep on exploring. We still have no diamonds, which is kind of weird. And there we go. Diamonds. It happened to be right by this room that I made. Well, I decided to go a different direction and see what we got. And oh, what is this? Is this an eight vein? It's a vein of eight. Yes, it is. Excellent. That is like the best. Let me check. I don't think there's any lava down there. There shouldn't be. There's even lapis. All right. So let's see what we can do with this. I just want to fill that in. So we've got no diamonds right now. How many are we going to get with fortune three? And the verdict is we got 24. Oh, that's that's perfect. That's actually exactly what we need. <laughs> that's more than what we need. So for a chest plate and leggings and a sword and I think another pickaxe. Oh, that's definitely enough. We got it. Yes. Okay, so... We've also got a ton of deep slate. That is really good. Deep slate is the thing that I really wanted the most. I would like calcite, but yeah, you never know. Anyways, I'm thinking of uh, making tunnels at different levels because uh, geodes are often found at different levels. So we're just going to poke around and see if we can find anything. Here is something else I've managed to find. This is another one of the new... It's not really a block, it's uh, something we can get with shears. This is glow lichen, and this gives off light. Uh, this only gives off a light level of 7, which means that, you know what? It's not good enough to stop mobs from spawning, and there's more there. Okay, so this... Actually, this cave gave me a lot of ores, which is great. It's time for the pop quiz. Number one, what's your favorite new block in 1.17? And number two, would you prefer to travel over land or through a nether hub? Let me know in the comment section below. Well, we're running out of space, so this is what we got. We got uh, almost six stacks of deep slate, which is going to be really useful. 
looks like one, two, three, four stacks of iron. Got a little bit of gold, not too much. But this is the big thing. Diamonds and, of course, deep slate. I also got two, well, actually three stacks of copper. Amazing stuff. So what we need to do now is make it so that it's easy for us to get back here without having to run through that forest over there all the time. Now, I'm thinking a good place to put the uh, the portal is probably not down there. Once we come out of the portal, you know, we're out in the open. So I think we should probably put it in a spot that is easy to see all around us. I don't want this area, or I don't need this area, to look pretty. This is mining. It's not going to be pretty. So why not here? We can put our... Uh, I need it over here. It's uh, right here. Grab our obsidian. I'm just going to make our portal right here. Just nice and simple. Just use 10 obsidian and we'll get this built up. The portal is ready to go, but I'm not going to be lighting it up yet. What I need to do first is take down the coordinates. So we check here. Coordinates are 1579, negative 42. Now let's grab stuff that we want to bring back. Uh, definitely the deep slate, honeycomb, the diamonds for sure, copper, as much iron as we can take. We're almost full here. Uh, I could probably leave that. I would also like to bring back... Uh, I think this is good. Just take as much coal as possible. And we're going to walk back because we're not lighting this up until we build the corresponding portal in the nether. All right, let's do it. Diamond chest plate. Diamond leggings. We're going to make our diamond sword. We already had one before, but you know what happened. It uh, burned up in fire, which was not the best thing. And a second pickaxe. Now I want silk touch on this pickaxe. Now as you can see we've got 29 levels which is not quite enough for us to get full enchantment or a full 30 level enchantment on anything over here. But we can take a look at what we could possibly get. Uh, diamond sword, sharpness 3, hmm. diamond pickaxe, efficiency 3. Okay, uh, chest plate, unbreaking. And leggings, we get protection three. Protection would be probably fairly useful. That leaves us with four diamonds, which uh, we're going to store away. And of course, we have to do this. Oh, look at that. We are fully suited up. All diamonds. Oh, get rid of this. We need this in our hand. That's much better. Loving it. All right, we're going into the nether now. I uh, just want to make sure we got our golden helmet on. And we've got our sword ready. We've got a bow ready. We are going to have to dig out of this one little room we're in. And we're going to have to go to some coordinates that hopefully are not too far away. Oh, jeez. Okay, this is why we have a weapon ready. How did you get in here? That was odd. Okay, so <laughs> let's look at our coordinates. Uh, we need to go to 197 and negative 5, which is actually very, very close. So we'll go this way to negative 5 first, because I know that way is over lava. So we're going to make a tunnel going off in this direction. And of course, remember, this is above ground here. So uh, we can make a tunnel straight through here. Let's make it just too high, as we've done before. Um, that was good. Definitely good. <laughs> and go all the way to minus five. This is very quick. No, this is not. Oh, wow. It's a ravine in the nether. Okay, so we got a bridge across. And again, be really, really careful here. You gotta crouch and go backwards if you're in Java. If you're in bedrock, you can do it forwards. It's quite simple and easy. Lucky bedrock players. 
All right, here we are. So I'll just keep going and let's get to negative five. It looks like our portal's going to have to be out in the open. Not the safest thing, but it'll have to do. Just make some stairs going down, I guess. And take a look around here. It doesn't seem to be too bad. There's an Enderman over there. Just make sure we get to a negative five. And it's right about here. Okay, negative five, and then we have to go this way to 197, and it's into a basalt. Delta. Oh, that is horrible. Okay. It's one of the most dangerous biomes with all the uh, magma cubes. So, we need to get ourselves over there. Uh, we're going to have to make a, a nether hub that's a bit safer in the future. But this will have to do for now. We just need a quick way to get there, and I think we may have to build this over. Oh, great. Something fell. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, I'm going to end up making making a uh, platform over there. Let's, uh, let's, let's be careful. And this is the spot. Okay, so let's uh, make this so that we can build our portal right here. We'll figure this out later, making this look nicer in the future. Definitely. We need to make this platform big enough so we don't fall off of it. That is not what I want. Um, if they would stay away, that would be absolutely wonderful. Okay, so let's get this portal in here. Uh, it doesn't have to be exact, so let me just uh, take this up a little bit here and go like this. We need to go up. One, two, three. Let's put salt here. Go over here. Go up. One, one, two, three. Another basalt. And the last two obsidian. Right there. Okay, and we're going to light this up and check and see if this actually takes us to the right spot. Cross our fingers. And let's see where it goes. Um, that was weird. <laughs> uh, we're, what? Okay, I've never had this happen to me before, but that is so strange. Okay, make sure this works going back. Um, not exactly what I expected. Okay, we are in the right place. Excellent. So I'm going to grab some stuff from over here and take it back. Some pillagers over there. Uh, we're getting out of here. So let's get home. Just need to make sure we know where we're going. Yep, we got uh, we got some stairs right there. So let's get back to the base. And welcome back home. We had some great success today. We've got a bunch of deep slate, which is going to be amazing because I want to use it as uh, roofs for some of the buildings over here, you know. I think that would look absolutely amazing. We've got a way to get back there through the nether, which is going to be extremely convenient, although slightly dangerous. Well, uh, we will fix that in the future, make it much, much safer. And we've got some other blocks we found, including the glow lichen. That's going to be interesting to try out. Unfortunately, we did not find any of the amethyst geodes. Uh, that was one thing I was hoping to find. But... There we go. Of course, we can always keep trying. I've got that uh, mining area all set up so that we can do a ton of mining. We, whatever we find, well, I'm going to I am going to make videos once I do find something about that. And I will of course include them in the future. But it's time for your homework. I'd like you to take a screenshot of the riches you find and post it on my Discord server in the homework channel. So if you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in joining Minecraft School, then please consider subscribing. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.